Wings of Darkness and Death. Death is a very common artistic description of dark feathered birds such as ravens and crows. These birds live close to humans, therefore their symbolism is strong and present all over the world. Symbolism of particular animals is a special channel for people better to understand and explain certain phenomena that takes place in their own lives. Almost every single animal has some special spiritual characteristics ascribed by humans. In old times, when scientific approaches still were not developed the way as they are now, people were finding answers to strange situations in their natural environment. It was easier to explain that someone had bad luck in life because, for example, he or she have seen a raven behaving in a particular way or if a black cat has crossed their path. Both ravens and crows are believed to be magical animals. They are both considered intelligent species, but in symbolical sense also associated with trickery and mischief. Ravens and crows are also associated with wisdom, hidden lore, secrets, deep insight, shape-shifting, and transformation. In various cultures and societies, these dark birds have always been considered heralds of night and darkness. In many belief systems, ravens and crows are believed to bring bad luck and bad news. However, that is not always the case. Apart from being associated with forces of darkness, sorcery and witchcraft, in some societies ravens and crows are admired and even worshipped. They are believed to have magical powers and ability to communicate between realms of the living and the dead. They are also considered to be messengers of higher forces, spirit animals, totem animals and protectors. It is also believed ravens and crows keep important knowledge and are also linked to ideas of higher perspective, wisdom and creation. These two birds have similar symbolism, so we can analyze it. Both of the birds are important members of spiritual realm, animals with many special meanings. They have dual symbolism, just like many other totem and spirit animals. While on one side they are believed to be dark and misfortunate, on the other hand they are wise guides and magical beings. First of all, it is important to mention that birds, symbolism and spiritual energy are particularly interesting to humans. Birds have wings and they fly, which is a special gift that makes us humans envious. Crows and ravens not only fly, but also these birds are of dark color, which is often associated with mystery, darkness, but also with wisdom. Crows are believed to be both messengers of good news and bringers of bad luck. Crows are present in certain belief systems as protectors and guides. For example, there are Native American crow clans. These people are proud to be guided by this amazing spirit animal. Ravens are also associated with mystery, knowledge and guidance. Ravens are good spiritual animals associated with transformation and creation. It is interesting to note that these dark feathered birds are present in various stories and legends related to creation of the world. These birds are believed to be connected with certain deities and in some cases they represent certain godlike traits. In Nordic mythology, two ravens are faithful companions of one of the most powerful deities in the pantheon, Odin himself. These spirit birds have many spiritual meanings, which varies depending on part of the world you live in, a belief system you belong to, and of course your own feelings about these interesting animals. However, there are numerous similar interpretations found all over the planet. Crows symbolize creation, creativity, knowledge, wisdom, insight, skills, mischief, bad luck, and darkness. Crows represent many things amongst which are life and life cycles. This dark feathered fellow is appreciated in Aboriginal culture. In their legendary tales, the crow was the one who have shown the power of fire to the people. Native Americans have also special interpretations of crow's symbolism. For many tribes, crows are associated with creation of life. That is the reason why they name their clans after this amazing bird. That was today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to visit these websites to find even more information about the subject we talked about today. And to show us support, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you in the next video.